look at this simple but amazing dye project. This is a digital clock and temperature monitor that shows the date, time, day of the week and also the temperature of my room. I have made this using some basic DIY electronic components. If you want to make one for yourself, this tutorial will guide you through every step. Let's get started and see how it's built. You need an Arduino Uno, a DS3231 RTC module, a 16 by 2 LCD display with an I2C adapter, a DHT11 temperature sensor, a mini breadboard, two pieces of male to male jumper wires, 11 pieces of male to female jumper wires. Once your components are ready, let's start wiring the circuit step by step. First, take 5 volt and ground from the Arduino to the breadboard to make some extra points for VCC and ground. Let's hook up the RTC module. RTC ground will connect to Arduino ground. RTC VCC will connect to Arduino 5 volt. RTC serial data will connect to Arduino analog pin A4. RTC clock will connect to Arduino analog pin A5. Now let's hook up the LCD display. LCD ground will connect to Arduino ground. LCD VCC will connect to Arduino 5 volt. LCD serial data will connect to Arduino serial data pin. LCD clock will connect to Arduino serial clock pin. Lastly, let's hook up the DHT11 sensor. You can see there are three pins on DHT11 sensor. The pin marked S is the data signal pin. The middle pin is VCC and the third pin is ground. So let's connect DHT11 ground to ground. DHT11 VCC to 5 volt. And DHT11 data to digital pin 2 on the Arduino. Double check all the connections. Here is the breadboard circuit diagram. After completing the hardware connection, connect the Arduino to your computer and let's move on to the code. Go to the Arduino IDE and open a new sketch. Include the wire library for I2C and the LCD library for controlling the 16x2 LCD. The LCD object is created with the I2C address 0x27. And the display size is 16 columns by 2 rows. Then we include the DH3231 RTC library and create an RTC object using the SDA and SCL pins. Next, include the DHT library. Define pin 2 for the data signal. Specify that we are using DHT11 and create a DHT sensor object. After that, we begin the setup function which runs once when the Arduino starts. We clear the LCD, initialize it, and turn on the backlight. Then we start serial monitor and initialize both the RTC and DHT sensor. Next, these lines are for setting the day, time, and date. For now, keep them commented out. We'll use them only once when we need to manually set the RTC time and then comment them again. Now we come to the main loop. We'll print the day, date and time to the serial monitor in every second. Then we will show the time on the LCD. Day of the week on the top right, date on the top left and time on the bottom left. Next the temperature is read in Celsius from the DHT11 and stored it in the variable name T. We print the temperature to the serial monitor. And finally display it on the bottom right of the LCD. Followed by C for the Celsius. And that's it. I will share this code in the description below. You can also find the three required libraries in the link provided. Make sure to include these libraries before uploading the code. Now go back to the time setting lines and comment them and set the day, time and date.
select the correct board and port and upload the code. After uploading, you will see the digital clock and temperature monitor working. It shows the date, time, day and room temperature in real time. Now go back to the code again. Comment out those time setting lines and re-upload the code. Now even if we disconnect the power, the RTC module will keep tracking the real time with the help of its battery. I found this empty watch box in my room and I'm using it to make my DIY digital clock and temperature monitor looks better. You can design your own cover by 3D printing that will look even more beautiful. Share your ideas in the comment section to help others. If you enjoyed this DIY project, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.